Hi, my name is Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. We're in Colombia looking for more hummingbirds to photograph. Our first stop today was at Terra Birding in Manzanales. This place had just opened for birders and we were apparently the very first visitors to go there. It's the home of Carlos Mario Aranzazu, and he built a viewing area with hummingbird feeders and lots of perches for photography and baskets of fuchsia flowers that the hummingbirds just love. This little fawn-breasted brilliant, one of our old friends, would clutch onto the flowers while he was feeding, and I got some fabulous photographs of this guy. The Andean Emerald, one of our other old friends, was especially prevalent here, and I got some beautiful pictures of this bird on the perches. I especially love this picture of this steely vented hummingbird looking at that Andean Emerald like he's not very pleased that that bird is on his perch. Carlos told us that if we went on a little hike with him, he would show us possibly a white-throated wedgebill that he's seen come to Heliconia flowers. He also had a chestnut-crowned Aunt Pitta train to come out when he called it and he would go up there and feed it. So we wanted to see this and the wedgebill. We went up the hill and took some pictures from the top because this is just a beautiful area. And then we entered the forest. There was a little trail and we got to the place where the stand of Heliconia is. And this is where Carlos began calling out the Aunt Pitta. Going, 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 going. And sure enough, the little Aunt Pitta came hopping out to get the food. William got great video of this. Arriba, pues, arriba, arriba, arriba. Eso. At one time, there was only one species that was called a wedgebill. It was the wedge-billed hummingbird. But then it got split into Geoffroy's wedgebill, which we photographed in Peru, and this one, which was called the white-throated wedgebill. But the South American Classification Committee came up with different names, and um, I tried to research it and can't really figure out exactly when all this came about, but now Geoffroy's Wedgebill is called Geoffroy's Daggerbill. And this bird that we photographed is now called Shoko's Daggerbill. And eBird is calling it Shoko's Daggerbill, so who am I to argue with eBird? But here is the only picture I was able to get of the Shoko Daggerbill. This bird came to the Heliconia plant once and was only there for a few seconds. I got a burst of maybe four photographs of it, only one that you can sort of identify which bird this is. This bird lives at high altitudes in Colombia and Ecuador. Hopefully I will run into it again and maybe get a better photograph but I'm very pleased to have seen this bird and at least got off one photograph of it because literally that bird was there for maybe six seconds. Carlos's wife made us a great lunch and afterwards we left and headed to our next destination, Hacienda El Bosque. This is a cattle ranch run by Nestor and Monica Zapata. They're birders and they love hummingbirds, so they've hung lots of feeders around and planted hummingbird-friendly plants. It was cold and rainy, as you can see by this picture of a sword-billed hummingbird that comes to their property. The mountain velvet breast is the bird we were looking for here. We found one, but it was a juvenile. 
This bird can be easily recognized by its long decurved bill and it's got a mostly white tail. The birds found from Venezuela down through Peru at high elevations. I'll be spending lots of time at high elevations in Ecuador and Peru in the future, so hopefully I'll get a full plumage male then. The dominant bird here today was the shining sunbeam. I had photographed this bird before, but there were a number of them here fighting for territory. And it was so great to photograph these birds and get video of them. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow me on my next adventure in Colombia, where we're going near the active Nevado del Ruiz volcano, looking for another helmet crest. See you next Sunday.